So there's a concept that I came across a few years ago, and I'm pretty sure I read it in an Osho book. So in one of his books, he described yourself, your real self, as the sky, and your thoughts are just clouds passing by. So this, for me, it created this newfound sense of awareness and this higher awareness just by reading it. So just in having that concept in my mind, I was able to have this kind of sense of non-attachment from my thoughts. So I was able to just objectively observe them and let them pass by because I had that, that metaphor, that visual of, you know, I'm really the sky. And these thoughts are going to, to keep passing. You know, it's inevitable. But they are just the clouds passing through the sky. And it's not who I really am. So this, this creates that sense of detachment from thoughts. And it creates a, a sense of detachment from emotions. And I don't mean that in a bad way. You're just observing them. You could still, you know, fully feel your emotions. But you're not like... Um, completely a slave to it. You're not a slave to your thoughts and emotions because you're able to, you know, have that higher awareness to objectively observe them. And this is especially true with thoughts. So this perspective, you can apply it to any meditation practice as well, as, as like along with just in your daily life, you can keep that in the back of your mind. But with meditation, it's especially helpful because when you're meditating, just sitting there in silence, and thoughts come up, you just watch it like you would watch clouds passing in the sky. You know, you don't have to judge them, and <clears throat> you don't have to attach to them either. You're just a witnessing presence, and they're they're just fleeting phenomena. So it creates that that really really helpful sense of awareness, and it also facilitates an exploration of the question of who am I? So once you're able to really observe your thoughts and emotions, you realize that they are not you. You know, I am not my thoughts. That That's an obvious conclusion that you get from watching them. So instead of identifying with your body or, or anything like that, even nationality or whatever, religion or your thoughts, you're able to objectively witness all of these things because you realize you're not your body. You realize you're not your thoughts. So you you get to this place where you realize that your true self is more like a witnessing presence or in other terms like pure consciousness. So you are that pure consciousness that is witnessing and observing all of this. So it really, it helps you come to that conclusion and it, it facilitates that for you. Just a simple exercise. So just keep that in mind. You are the sky and your thoughts are merely clouds passing by. Okay? Keep that one in mind. All right? Peace, peace. Much love and one love, baby.